EE wanted to create a single convenient digital learning platform that engaged their staff. In 2016, they joined forces with Growth Engineering to make it happen. We invited EE's Pinda Dillon to Growth Engineering Headquarters to hear what she had to say. So when I look back, there were three key things that we really wanted to tackle. Number one for us was accessibility. 25,000 staff, 50% of them um, work in stores. We wanted to make sure that we had a platform that they could access whenever they wanted to, not just when we said. We also wanted to introduce gamification and personalise the learning rather than sheep dipping everybody through you know, an old way of learning, e-learns. And thirdly, and probably one of the most important ones, we wanted to have one platform that we could combine all our learning into. We were running two at the time. So we really wanted a platform that could offer personalisation to our staff, where we could push out relevant content to them and allow them to select the content that they wanted to do at a time that they wanted to do it. So mobile responsive was definitely important. We also wanted to introduce gamification. Again, allowing our staff to really compete with other individuals. However, we knew gamification or the methodology of gamification wasn't for everybody. So again, something that allowed us to switch on elements when we wanted to, rather than having something really fixed. Um, so I attended Learning Tech uh, a couple of years back and came across the standard LMS provider. So I was quite put off went back to the drawing board and really thought about what could we do, so we tackled our content first. Then I went back to Learning Tech looking for content providers and then I came across Growth Engineering. Didn't quite understand what they were doing from a distance, superheroes running around. I thought okay let me go and investigate a little bit further and I was absolutely blown away that they had taken a learning management platform and turned it on its head. Instead of talking about reporting and hosting they spoke about personalisation, engagement. That's uh, what I really found interesting about them. It was surprisingly easy, and there was really two parts for it. The technical side and the look and feel, both of which we ran concurrently uh, with Growth Engineering, and the support was absolutely fantastic. There was, this was new ground for us, and not at any point did we feel that we were left by ourselves. We could tap into the resource that we wanted when we wanted it. It was absolutely fantastic. I knew it was going to be good, but I didn't expect it to be so phenomenal. From the moment we switched on, our learners went crazy. They were sharing ideas, they were posting on the What's Happening wall. Some were getting stuck, which was great. They were utilising their digital skills. But instead of the training team jumping in to say, you need to do this, our other learners were helping them. It was fantastic. Never did I expect it to be this good, this overwhelming. It's had a really big impact. We completely changed the structure of the team. So originally we had a digital team and a classroom training team. We merged the two together because of the platform, because now we had more functionality. We could look at when do we assign a badge, how do you get an achievement, how do we get people to socialise and talk with each other. And that meant creating a production line. No single designer works on any one given project. They work across the board and really utilise the platform like we'd never have done before. It's been absolutely brilliant. Would I recommend Growth Engineering? Yes, but not to the competitors. <laughs>